Hello and welcome to Rendelai Gaming. And uh, no, the person who normally does these videos did not have a sex change. I am actually the other half of the Rendelai and Rendelai Gaming, um, or as I like to think of it, the the better half. And uh, today um, I'm actually going to be reviewing, or not reviewing, sorry. I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of Jazz Punk. Um, now I don't know how many of you have heard of Jazz Punk, but it's a uh, Basically, it's it, it's definitely not a game that you want to play if you're look if you're looking for a serious gaming experience. Um, it's if you but if you like a lot of random and I guess you could say ridiculous humor, then it's definitely the game for you. Um, a lot of people have described this game as being on just like one big acid trip, <laughs> so um, you'll find out quickly why. So um, I've already played through I believe the first four missions in the game, um, but I'm going to go ahead and start over from the beginning just to kind of, you know, because the beginning is usually a good place to start. Anyway, so we'll go ahead and get started. Um, new game. And it looks like we're going to go through the intro, which you're in some sort of an airport terminal here. There's a body bag. You know you're off to a great start when there's a body bag in your luggage. So even the intro is kind of trippy. I forgot how long this intro is. Okay, okay, I think we're done. Alright. Okay, so here's the beginning, of course. Um, I guess we are in some kind of airport terminal and it, oh, well, I didn't notice this before, I guess. I was actually the one in the body bag. Well, that's, that's kind of freaky. Alright, so We'll just take a little stroll down this hallway here. And if you like, you can stop and look at some of the names on the door. Uh, turning finances. Okay. Lawrence and Cock, quantitative accounting. Interesting. I'm sure that's not meant to be an innuendo at all. Uh, Carter Fairfax, import, export limited. And then here's the open door here, which you'll be going in here in a second, but we can check out what's at the other end of the hallway, see if there's anything of interest down here. Excuse me. Alright, yep, nothing of interest down there, so we'll go ahead and head in. And I believe you can actually look at the magazines on the table, if I remember correctly. Well, I guess you can't pick these up and read them, but... You can see there's some uh, parodies of some pretty well-known periodicals here. And yeah, I'm sure they just have that one for the articles. <laughs>
And generally with different NPCs, you can usually walk up to them and interact with them, like the receptionist here. Alright, so we'll go ahead and take a seat. We can peruse the articles. Oh, looks like we can pick those up. Alright, so since the director is ready for us, we'll go ahead and uh, walk on in there. There's our director with his glass of wine there. And it says, please sit down. And of course, we're going to be sitting down on the whoopee cushion. And there it is. Yep. Basically, we need you to infiltrate the Soviet consulate. They've taken some of our important technology, and it's imperative that we get it down the right hand. As we need to here's your mission off for twitching. Don't take too many. If you need me, I'll be in the wine cellar. All right, so we'll get back up here, and I guess we'll take the pill bottle that is going to help us start our mission. And there's our director in his wine cellar, as he called it. It's just basically what he calls being passed out drunk on the floor. So yeah, we'll go ahead and take the drugs here and get our mission started. Alright, so this is the uh, Soviet consulate that we're supposed to infiltrate. But we're not going to go to the Soviet consulate just yet because there's actually a lot of other things to do on this level. For instance, here's this guy over here. Come back when you've got the MacGuffin. Apparently we're supposed to find this MacGuffin for this guy sitting on the bench here. And there's somebody peeking at us from behind the tree. Looks like we're being watched. And he's gone. And then you have these, these little uh, people, like featureless people walking around here. I guess these are supposed to be the not so important NPCs and you can usually interact with them or some of them you can interact with. This one doesn't seem to want to talk to us. And we'll talk to this guy down here. Sure, we'll take some gum. Oh, that's unfortunate. So that didn't end well for him. And then I know there's supposed to be another guy over here that I did not visit the last time. Do I have something on my face? Yes, you do. So we're just going to help him clean off his face here. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye. So that's kind of creepy. He's still got something on his shirt there, too. Uh, we can't take it from him. Too bad I wanted some chicken. And here's a pigeon here. You'll see these pigeons every so often. Pigeon doesn't want to talk to us either. And then you got this guy over here. Believe in yourself. Oh, that's nice. Best friends forever. Okay, now it's just getting weird. Right away you sleep at night. That's creepy. Alright, well enough of that. Now we'll go up on the bridge here. And there's this guy up here on the bridge that we can uh we can visit with. Or not. Well, that's too bad. But he says he's okay. Well, maybe not anymore. There's some more people to visit over here. We got our jazz musician. It's all about the jazz, man. 
But yes, it is. Let's hear it. That's weird. That's actually scat more than jazz, but... And these guys got nothing to say either. Yeah, we'll check out this robot prostitute over here. That's kind of cheap. Not really. That's nice. Check out this guy smoking over here. And he has nothing to say either. So we'll just take a further stroll down the street here, see who else we can talk to. Looks like this guy has something he wants to say. I remember the last time I played this level, I had so much trouble with this mission. Or this, well, it's not really a mission, it's a side quest, but... <laughs> you can also use it on things other than pigeons. But yeah, these pigeons are hard to catch. Let's see what we can do to this guy here. Right, let's go find our robot prostitute again. She seems to like this thing. Eh, she doesn't seem to be around. We'll catch up to her later. There's a basketball here. Eh, it doesn't do anything to that. Ooh, pigeon. See, my aim is a little off. Well, oh, I hit him once. Damn pigeon. Well, I think he's gone. Oh, he's perched up on the thing. I'm pretty terrible at this. And it's a second hit. Got him. And every time you get the pigeons, they drop this OD pigeon stuff. Which, the results of which are pretty funny if you spray it on a person. Which I'll show you what happens. Let's spray it on this cigarette guy here. And he's gone. Ah, I can't shoot any of these pigeons. Well, that's just lame. Well, these don't count. Looks like I can't pick up the Odie Pigeon anymore. Oh, there she is. Yeah. I guess this is some pretty kinky stuff for a robot prostitute. So anyway, we'll continue down the street here. 
There's another pigeon up there. If I can get to it. Got him. And more Odie Pigeon stuff. Which, I want to go spray this one on the guy on the park bench, because this one's pretty screwed up. So, we'll go back across the bridge here. There he is. So we'll walk up to our friend on the park bench here. And we'll give him a little bit of pigeon number five. And there goes his head. There's somebody peeking at us from around the corner again. Oh. Looks like I foiled his plan there. Looks like we can't interact with him anymore though. Too bad. Ooh, another pigeon. And got the last one. And you know, I haven't tried spraying this on one of the spies yet, so I'm not sure how it works, but we'll see. That just goes to show you, uh, pigeon rape is a very terrible thing. Alright, so let's travel back over the bridge, and let's see if we can find our friend who gave us that pigeon quest to begin with. Whoa, what just happened there? Well, that's new. Looks like one of those pigeons just took a dump on my face. And there's another thing there, but we'll come back to that later. There's our pigeon guy. Thanks for collecting the pigeons. This is my Mima's secret pigeon pod pie. Mima. Please wait while they make. Okay. Just like Mima used to make. Mima's pretty talented at all. All she has to do is stick three pigeons in a microwave and a pie comes out. I have fourth degree burns all over my entire face. Well, I'm sorry for you. Ah, uh, it burns. Ah, uh, I have fourth degree burns all over my entire face. Ah, uh, it burns. Ah. Uh. Well, we'll just leave him to take care of that. All right, 
right, so let's walk a little bit more down the street here. Let's check out our hobo friend here. No. That's too bad. And it's always the government. And he's gone. So, here's a pizza laptop here, and we'll take a bite of this pizza and see what happens. And we're inside the pizza world now, apparently. And it's a pizza zombie. Pizza cutter here. And I think there's three more that pop up at the store here. Yep, there they are. Alright, well that was fun. Yeah, let's see what's written on the typewriter here. All work and no play makes Jack a dull pizza. All work and no toppings makes Jack a dull pizza. All work and no play makes Jack a dull pizza. And all pizza and no pizza makes Jack a dull pizza. And eventually go down to where it's nothing but pizza, pizza, pizza. Well, I think you pretty much got it. So, yeah, that was, uh, that had come really no point to it at all, but, hey, that's the beauty of this game. Nothing in this game really has any point to it at all. And apparently this door is closed for no reason. Gone fishing, spelled with a P-H, interesting. like we can knock on this door. Doesn't look like anybody's gonna answer. Alright, well, we'll come back to that later. Maybe somebody will be home then. Oh, well, is it my birthday? Congratulations, you're the 1,032nd player to inspect this garbage. Well, I feel special. Dim doomed to a swan infestation. Well, that's too bad. Pigeons and swans. Uh, apparently, there's somebody working on this game had a huge bird fetish. Oh, what's this? Posebix. Never take placebex after taking missional. Hmm. Well, that could be bad for me. Close 
those for salmon spawning season. It's another pigeon. Well. Well, that's too bad. Okay. Well, I... I'm sorry that happened. Yeah, I guess it was. I'm happy for you. That's great. Customer reaction has been overwhelming. Sounds like a... <laughs> Almost sounds like a Geiger counter, but... Okay. Oh, here's a newspaper we can read. 